Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, our wonderful Republic here. We're uh, just checking in on Zernoski. They're doing some roads. Right, it's going to take a long time to get this up and running because of the roads and stuff. Uh, I am expanding. In this video, we're going to expand our construction capacity so that construction can go a little bit faster. Uh, now, we do have some trains that are going to hold up the line here. Let's just go ahead and let it ignore the signal. There we go. Uh, so we've got these rails and stuff out by our advanced manufacturing. They're starting to get done, but they do kind of get in the way, right, of our passenger trains. And so until these tracks are done, track builders are going to be causing lots of little notices here about trains waiting too long and stuff. I'm not going to babysit it. You know, we don't need the resources yet. And so as we begin to create more of our own stuff and we can become more reliant on that area, we won't have to worry about the track builders because they'll be done already. At least that is the hope anyway. Once we start getting a really reliable source of electrical components, we will electrify the rails here first to get them out of the way so that we never have to worry about the trains doing this. And then we will electrify the train tracks uh, starting on this side. We will start to electrify the train tracks over here to keep out of the way of these trains. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably have to put in a little crossing. I think probably right here, just a temporary crossing for these trains to come in and then be able to get out the same way they came in, right? That's going to be something that we have to do because the track builders will, of course, make it to where there are no passengers uh, on any of these trains. Just an ongoing issue that we are uh, currently taking care of, slowly but surely. Uh, on this side, also, the track is uh, done out this way. And they have actually started working on the tunnels and stuff now, too. So that's pretty exciting. We have a tunnel boring machine actually tunneling down right now in real time. We're coming at you live. With live coverage. No, it goes all the way underneath this. Uh, the last thing I wanted to fill you in on is I have, of course, been working on our canal here. And uh, we've got it down to the point where I think I can probably get a lot of water done. I'm kind of doing it. I'm kind of doing it in bulk, sort of just doing the whole thing at once, like lowering all terrain. But I think it like looks a bit more realistic as we, uh, you know, we start to see, well, I'd love to show you, but unfortunately it's nighttime. So I'll have to wait until the daytime to really show you. But I feel it's, it's realistic that people would uh, start working the whole thing down instead of just having it be a steep cliff all the time. It's like a slow ramp down in that case. So as soon as it becomes daytime, I'll show you what I'm talking about. There we go. So if I was to get rid of this and just to take a look at it from this perspective, see how it kind of ramps down from here. Kind of works its way down until eventually we get into the water, right? So that's kind of how I've been doing it. And I think pretty much we're at the point now where I can just start revealing a lot of water here pretty quickly. Uh, so it's, it's a work in progress, right? We obviously need to get Really steep walls is what I'm looking for here on the sides. I'd like to get these really steep. And then we can paint the edges. Especially if I can get it vertical, that'd be awesome. But I can paint it, make it look like a an embankment. There is also a mod that gives you these sort of really nice concrete walls that you can put uh, on, the ed on the edges of water and stuff here. I thought about adding that, but... I think the, the difference in terrain height here is going to kind of make that not work anyway. So it's not really worth it. But it could be something that we would add near Zernoski, for example. A nice rounded edge that it has seems pretty cool. So that's something we could potentially add there. So in any case, today we're going to be focusing on expanding our construction capacity. Like I said, I'll just keep working on this over time. Uh, so over here, I've added another construction office uh, around mid-October. So I added this and uh, it's done. Everything's ready to go here. We just need to add the vehicles. And so for this, I'm going to make this a road crew thing. I don't want to have to wait for road construction. It takes a long time to make roads and we can't start buildings until roads are done. So I think I would very much like to get another road construction crew. And so this building here is, is going to be configured for that. I could maybe add a couple of different, you know, building centric things, but I don't think it's, I think it's going to help a lot more if I have more road capacity, because there's still a lot of roads that have to be done. All these gravel, I would like to turn these all into asphalt through here. Of course, any, anywhere where there's two roads together, it's, it's destined to be asphalt eventually anyway. Right, so we kind of want to get all that stuff done. Um, I, I have to look at this. This is still not good. 
and this is not working out the way I wanted. Um, essentially, let me just buy the vehicles here really quick. So we want to get, um, I guess a lot of dumpers would be something to get here. Let's go orange. I like it. One, two, three, four, five, six dumpers. Let's go seven dumpers, right? And then with that many dumpers, we're going to go with, I think, probably one, two, three pavers. We're gonna go with uh these ones here can actually just drive themselves to the sites fairly well one two three rollers uh let's do a concrete mixer just to just to throw a, a wrench into this because it might we might have that needed for some things and then um probably a covered hall because we're gonna be doing like the roads with the lights right and those require electrical components to be brought so we could also handle that by having one of these let's maybe take uh this one here seems cool have an orange not really no we'll do that one right there that's fine um i don't know if there's anything else i missed here uh excavators could be needed but uh bulldozers actually bulldozers would be needed so let's get uh oh only one bulldozer yeah well it's something right i mean we're gonna be making a lot of asphalt roads and so like the bulldozers are nice for gravel but the asphalt roads really need more than just bulldozers so I, I think that's the part that takes the longest really so that's going to be an office that's going to help out with a lot of things all right and we're going to add this office to our road construction crew i think number three the number three group so number three group is just this office and it really just handles like su it supplements the ineffic the inefficiencies of our single road office so i'm going to add this new office to group three so that when I assign three, it's both of these together. And so they can kind of keep them separated that way. But it's useful to have this office be nearby where our supply is. And all of our asphalt and gravel comes from here. This office is also going to load its gravel directly from the storage, not from these. So just kind of keep in sort of, because there's gonna be a lot of dumpers and stuff, right? I just added like eight more dump trucks. So I kind of don't want the traffic to get too bad here. So I'm going to deviate and have these eight dump trucks get their gravel from here instead. Uh, so they're going to pull in and direct into this little area here, which I think is perfectly fine. There's actually two parking spots. So it's really fundamentally no different than these anyway. Okay. So crop wise, we're doing fantastic. We're keeping up on food really well, alcohol really well all the things really well and if we take a look over at the industrial yard we can see that this has 192 tons of mechanical components oh boy wouldn't i love to sell all of those i mean we're going to use them so i don't necessarily need to sell them all um and i'm certainly not low on money so that's not a big deal uh but it you know it's something that i can if i get low on money somehow then yeah absolutely we can do that so in expanding our construction capacity a lot of things are simply waiting for workers to get there. And our road crews do not directly have access to workers. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding a lot of helicopter construction. It's been a long time ago. We added this helicopter uh, passenger heliport pad right here. And I was thinking about having this be a place where tourists can get dropped off and over here. And that's fine. Um, we might still do that. But I need a source of good, like a good source of workers, though. And so I'm actually going to build this one as a good source of workers. So I'm putting a helicopter passenger pad right here behind the Dnipro Flats. They'll be able to walk. There's still a lot of people here without a job. They'll be able to walk over here to get a job now. So as soon as we build this, I'm going to actually kick that up to high priority and make sure that people are on that. Yeah, and then helicopter offices could get on that and help out with it too. So that's going to give us all this labor that's, that's uh, without a job, plus all of these guys once I let it build. And you can see we've got uh, 230 without a flat. So they keep moving away right my population is locked intentionally so it's it's not we're, we're gonna have burrs but we're also gonna have escapes and all that stuff so it's fine once i get this building gun, done though that will open up all those people who don't have a flat will then have a flat and then we can expand and then we can have we have a little higher tolerance into how many people don't have a flat before they they, they escape and stuff so everything's gonna be fine there i'm also ready to start working on getting this to go further so I think my original plans, and I look back at my, my test save, and actually I had this as my test save, so I, I don't think I like it, though. Um, 
my original plan for this was to take the overwhelming bulk of where everybody is and all the parking lots and all the cars that would be over here and over in this area right we have lots of cars and stuff over here and to give these guys a way to get out of the city without having to go through local traffic right that was the whole idea having this dip down into this area makes no sense in doing that so this is going to go a little bit further it will touch down about here and then it will lift up again as all the roads merge into the highway and allow them to go this direction right so we'll end up dipping this down over there i think that's going to work a lot better so in other words this is getting uh demolished and i must have done oh you know what i did okay so i i stopped the demolish just so i could show you that i'm doing that because i wasn't sure how long i was going to let it run in before the next video so i stopped it so i could show you that it's being demolished and now i can turn it back on and allow it to be demolished once more so there you go uh, we can also get a passenger train going and picking up people here and sending them over to steel but until we have no interruptions with the train track i don't really think that's an that's gonna be a useful thing we, we really just need no interruptions here and that's not gonna happen very well until we get to really getting these trains past the signals unfortunately i did do this a little bit too close and i can't place signals at the base of these bridges i thought i'd be able to but i can't do it so I will need the bridge to at least be done to this point, this, this area here. That way these guys will, will flood into here. And then if I can get them past these signals, that's great. It's not going to matter in the long term because in the long term, our trains are not going to have an issue with, uh, you know, being too long here. It's pretty rare that you have a passenger train that is going to be more than a hundred and like, honestly, I'm more than a hundred is, I think this is probably as long as this passenger train will ever be. Um, because we're, instead of having big trains, we're going to have many smaller trains. And so it'll just kind of create this constant flow of people. Right. And eventually, like I said before, I, I want to have a town like right here, a small little town, maybe, maybe some density here, but not really some towns that maybe kind of go around sort of the edge of the water. And then these people can also be bussed into this area too. So, um, we did get the research done, I think for cars yeah we can start working on train production line or something if i want to too i'm just going to hit aluminum oxide for now just to give me a little source uh but i now have access to sort of like that the end game right for this entire manufacturing area all this stuff is set up making our own steel making our own mechanical components electrical components our our own electronics all that stuff is set up for the end game of making our own personal cars which we now have access to this is the vehicle production line it takes 500 workers, produces quite a lot of pollution. Um, yeah, I guess not relative to the steel plant and stuff. It doesn't. But uh, this building is massive. And the idea, is, I'm hoping anyway, is that I can get this in such a way that I can have it connected to that warehouse and this steel source. And that way I can just pull it in direct from theirs and, and, and not really need any forklifts to feed this thing. Uh, because this thing is going to take plastic, mechanical components, electrical components, electronics, and fabric along with a bunch of steel and of course it will produce a lot of waste as well it has space for vehicles and you know stuff to be exported which is a good thing um but we're also going to want to have enough room to place another one of these we want another giant space for vehicles uh, and the reason for that is because we'd like to ship them around the republic and deliver them around the republic with trains instead of having to rely on just buses and cars because this does not have a rail connection so you can't bring, uh, you know, trains directly into here and pick up cars. So you got to have a way to do that. And to hook it up, we're going to use one of those. So that's what I'm hoping to do here. Um, maybe we'll focus on that next video. I really need to get the rest of this production up and running before I really care about that. Um, and I'm fairly confident the buildings are in the right spot to do that. I probably should verify that before we build things, right? Um, let me just kind of pull these dirt roads back a little bit. Just to kind of make sure that they are in the right spot for this. Um, of course, this road can't go that way anymore, but it was not never going to stay that way anyway. So we're going to bring you around about there. That's fine. And then if I take a look at my advanced industry, I'm hoping I can get you in a place where you can connect like that. Yep, like that. So I need you connected to both of these. Now, if there's a way to kind of fiddle with this to where we can get it to be a little bit cleaner and, you know, different different areas here i can maybe also hook it up on this side if i need to that's going to be steel as well um it's not going to be quite as well fed steel because this steel needs to come in by a truck so essentially the trains would bring the steel to this one 
trucks would then bring it into this one. Uh, this is not quite as fluid, but I, it's kind of fine. Um, but I would much rather prefer, or I'd much prefer to have it be here instead. Uh, so I guess it would have to be something like this. And that doesn't leave me a whole lot of room for trains, does it? Not really. If I bring this all the way back like that, it could help. But now I'm running the risk of not being able to get that road out of there. Maybe I would put it about here instead. I gotta wonder if that... This will be okay, right? I think this would be okay. Something like that would work. Feel like, anyway. Uh, because what we'd want to do with this... If I pull it back just a little bit more. Assuming, assuming I can get that road out. I can. Good. Yep, that's all I need to do is get that road out of there. Um, and then this road can go that way. Piece of cake. The only thing left now is getting this road out of there, right? And so we could potentially, you know, get this out with a tunnel. I'd be okay with that because um, obviously we have the factory connections in the way, so we won't be able to uh, go through there. But if we got it out with a tunnel, I, I would be okay with this. It's just it's just expensive to do it that way. But I mean, we we, we go down like three levels, right? Like this. Let's say. Well, how many levels here can we go? Let's say we go one, two, three. Will you let me four? Four levels? Okay, so we go down four levels to here. And then we pick it up again. And we bring it up to about there. Or we can go under again and bring it up on the other side. That way we're out of the way of the... It keeps us out of the way of the trains. I kind of like that, actually. We could actually bring it over. Even like this would be okay. Yeah, let's try this instead. Let's, um... Let's do it from this side. So, assuming we have the road for the vehicles coming in like this. Okay. Then immediately after this... Well, first we have to see where that storage is, don't we? So, vehicle, large. Yee! That is... Tight fit. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Let's place this first. Because this is more important. So, we need to get this to be in here in such a way that the train tracks pull right through, but we need to have a good amount of space for those trains. So it looks like this road needs to go. We're still going to focus on construction today. Don't worry. <laughs> it's still going to happen. Don't you worry about it. Okay. This is, this is a nothing burger. Okay. Uh, let's bring this back to here. And, uh, might take, might take just a small detour to, to make sure that this is good to go. I want the train track on this side, yes. And then what I think I'll do is probably bring it... I just can't imagine that's too long. I mean, I've connected things. Yeah, okay, that's better. I've connected things from this distance before. I feel like I have anyway. So if I do that, then the train tracks, right? We, we want to be able to deliver trains to our entire Republic, right? We want to be able to go anywhere. So probably would have to come off of this side... Or we could have this be a one-way thing where you pick up vehicles from this side. Uh, actually, it'd be more fluid because we, then we stay on the right side of the track. So we can pick up vehicles going from this side and then the vehicles are taken all the way around this way. Which is a little bit further, but I mean, it's no different than the train having to come all the way around to approach it from this side. So it's no big deal. The only difference is... It's more fluid, I feel, in the long term to hit this intersection coming from this side. Uh, because then you have the option to go that way. But yeah, from here, you really don't have that option until you get to here. And then you have to go across that way, which I guess is fine. You, you have to go this way anyway. It's all mostly the same thing. I guess it's mostly, uh, it's just aesthetics. So like from the middle of the intersection, what we can do, I guess, then is we can take... Uh, is there ever a reason to go from this way to that way? I don't think so. Because this is already going to do that. Well, it is. I, do, I have to move some stuff around, I guess. Yeah, this is already going to do that. So they would come from this side anyway if they're going to do it that way. Although at the moment, there's really no traffic on this side of the track. Right? Right? There's no traffic on this side. All the passenger trains are moving this direction, all in one big fluid movement. Like, they're not coming from that side. So having trains approach from this side, kind of, it's opened, right? It's, it's not in the way. So that's interesting. 
to where this side here, I mean, I guess everybody's moving the same way here too. I don't think it matters. The, the thing that's going to matter though, let me just see if I can't make this happen. Can I just connect this anyway? Will you, will you allow this? Yeah, it looks like you will. If I just move it from there to there. Can't tell if that's connected, which, which track that's connected to. I need it to be connected to this side. Maybe I start from here instead. Yeah. Can you connect to the track there? Looks a little weird. But it, I mean, it works. It just looks weird. Oh, maybe we, we can do the symmetry thing too. That might help. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is fine. That's fine. Yeah. That could be our intersection. And that, that way, if trains do need to go this way, they can come from this track, you know, from this direction, instead of coming from this side, this side's going to be busy enough anyway. So, um, I don't really want them to turn this direction. So if you have to come from this side, you'll do it from here and you'll make your way from there. Uh, so with that being done from this point, right after the signal, we can actually move the signals back a little bit more from this point in the signal. We'll take one back and we'll go about like this. And then the signals will end up being here. So this will be the chain and the clear. It'll have the chain signal be like over here. That's fine. And the clear will now have to be here. And this will be a one way track eventually, right? Um, for now, we're going to leave it as a single track just so track builders can do it. Uh, but this will give us a nice, fairly long uh, section here where the train can stop and, and pick up a pick up vehicles later on uh, from this point. And then from here, we, we need to, you know, connect the roads and stuff too. So right here, again, bringing the road back in this way. The road will come through this way, hook up to this point, I guess. It's, it's fine. We can actually just... Bring it a little closer to that rail. I'm, I'm all right with that. And a little bit of zigzag here. Right. And then from there, we'll want this to come out uh, from this side to connect to here. But we also need a tunnel into there. So where's that tunnel going to be? I think maybe we can do it right here. From here, we want to connect this side to this side with a tunnel. And that gets us into these two buildings which is required in order for us to build them. So it's a little expensive, right? I think the tunnel's probably like really not an efficient way to do it, but it's going to make it look good, I think, in the long term. So I'll just have, I'll just handle it like this. So we come in about like this, and then we're going to lift up and get us into, uh, well, I was hoping to do that, but maybe I can't. Keep it underneath. Um, maybe we delete this road for a second. So we come down three levels. Oh, I see. You're too short to... So you won't let me do really short segments. Okay, so it needs to be one, two, three. Like this. And then a wrapped around like this. And then I should be able to pick it up. Really? That's, that's crazy. That's kind of nuts. We're going to have parking lots here. So I guess, you know, vehicles will be able to get in here too. Maybe we'll look at that as a possibility. But I think for now, what I can do instead is just not build this. You know, we're only building one of these anyway, so we'll build the one we can reach. That's fine. And then, you know, we'll just build these later once we have a figure out, figure out an idea as to where the roads and stuff are here. Then we can make the tunnel into that spot. So for now, we're not going to build that. And then uh, everything else is connected pretty well here. So, yeah, a little bit of a detour. All right, this is the same road, actually. Yeah, there's already this road. So I don't need to, I don't need to wait on this. I could, I could just connect this right now. One... Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm just, I, I, I gotta do it. One, two, three. I gotta, I gotta make sure it'll work. Right. So make sure we're pull it back even more. Give me more space. So one, one, two, three. Why isn't that working? One, two, three. 
You guys gotta curve it around like this. Yeah, right there. All right, and then we go one, two, three. Or way up. Wow, I'm way lower than three levels. Why did that happen? One, two, three levels down. Four levels down. Five levels down. Wow. Five levels down. One, two, three, four, five. Raise it up. Yeah, I should be able to do something like that. That would solve everything. Yeah. And then this road, which is from that warehouse right here, right? That road is going to bring us down this way so we can just connect from there that's not a problem we just connect like that done all right good we got a tunnel in there now problem solved expanding construction capability uh yeah so uh this is here this is done we should see that these dump trucks are out doing things although they don't seem to have a lot of jobs so let's give them a whole bunch of jobs all the way out this way i want you to be building this is, uh, this is Zernoski out this way, right? I want you guys to be building this road. And I want you to be building, uh, already working on that road. Let's get any road you can access in this, in this area here. We'll do this with both, uh, the three. Any road you can access, make sure it's on your schedule, please. Uh, and then we don't want this stuff built yet. So let's make sure I don't accidentally click that. Like I already did with this building, and it's going to need freaking wear and tear maintenance before we even work it, because I accidentally built it. Is what it is. Uh, and then, yeah, we have, we have some of these roads already started, and a lot of these buildings and stuff are getting started by the helicopter construction office, too. Okay, speaking of helicopter construction office, let's take a look really quick over here. This is getting close to done. So what we want to do, if I head over here... We have this helicopter pad. This is a helicopter construction office. And I have added two additional helipads onto this. It was a really tight fit, but it did it does work. It doesn't look that clean, but it's whatever. Which means this office can now have four helicopters, which can have passengers. So we're going to spend a lot of money here because we're going to end up buying a lot of new helicopters. And that's just going to have to be fine. So I'm going to take and have... Uh, let's go with one, two, three, four, five. Nope, that's that's all four. Whoops, that's my bad. We're gonna have to move that to the to the other office. Um, that's my bad. There's only room for four helicopters. I I didn't. I have to remember that it's, that's the helicopter specific thing. Um, this is. I guess this could just be an office now instead of for passengers. I could just make this an actual office, but we have room for I think. One, two, three, four, five. We have room for one more helicopter here. So I will be able to assign one of those helicopters here. Uh, and then if we head over this direction, I have this extra pad now done. That's good. So we can just assign those helicopters that I just bought. They can just be assigned over here because what I really want for this side is for passenger helicopters. I want to be able to get passengers here. So these, these helicopters, these brand new ones, we're going to tell it to work in different offices. Right now, I think they're going over to get fuel, but they're going to go over and work in these different offices. Uh, yeah, you work here. And you also work here. All right, so I think I've reassigned them all now. Uh, we'll go over... And we're gonna we're gonna get one of these. So these are passenger helicopters. I think we're gonna buy these. The difference here is six passenger capacity, but look at the difference in price. It's enormous. All right. And the difference in speed is a thing, but when you're traveling 225 kilometers an hour, you're gonna get your destination anyway. So we're gonna go with one, two, three, four of these instead. These are passenger helicopters. And what we're gonna wanna do here is we're going to want to tell it to get its workers from this source. So now passenger helicopter can come over here and we should see, I'm hoping anyway, we will see, uh, yeah, workers join this pretty quickly here too, instead of just passengers and students. With that done, we can go ahead and get the Teneprio Flats built again. And then I can go over, I think, and uh, I think I need to get a passenger train here to bring them into steel as well. So why don't we get another passenger train? We'll grab, I'll just buy a brand new one. Diesel locomotive. I'm looking for, 
Uh, this is electric. I'd, I'd love to have this, but it's electric. Um, motor wagon. Yeah. We'll grab another motor wagon from here. And then we're going to need to bring in the cars and stuff for that too. So I need to borrow one of these. You already have a route. You have a route. You have a route. Wow, you guys are busy. Look at that. I actually need to buy another one. And I can't buy another one, I don't think, because they're not available anymore. These cl DR Class Vs are not available anymore. That's unfortunate. So, Because these are 82 meters in length. No, they're not. That's just the length of this whole train. The locomotive itself is not that long. Um, but I think these are 14 meters. And so the rest of these are, are longer. Which is something I was trying to avoid. And they're also more expensive. Like a lot more expensive. But it is what it is. So now we have to buy other trains, I guess. That sucks. Gosh, I wish I had bought all eight of these while I still could. Maybe I can get a used one. Are there any used ones? I'll have to keep my eye out for that. Not really sure I'm going to buy a 15-year-old locomotive right now. But it is pretty inexpensive i suppose train sets yeah uh mo there's no motor wagons in here yeah okay well i'm gonna have to buy something so i think since i'm gonna buy a new train anyway I might as well buy it from here so we'll buy another motor wagon and then i need another diesel locomotive i guess i'm gonna look at Speed, I suppose. Maybe value. Get it cheaper. So this one's the cheapest one. They're both 17 meters long. I can get a 19 meter, 18 meters. Yeah, this is... The engine power is pretty sufficient, sufficient, significantly bigger there. Okay, we'll grab two of these. We're going to buy a bunch of trains right now, basically. A whole bunch of trains coming off the track. Right alongside each other. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you didn't quite beat him there, though. Sorry, he had the inside track on you. All right. Uh, and then we should have... They've decided not to come over here. I'm going to tell this train to go work here. Uh, but the other one, we're going to get to go to the depot. So this one here, you should be heading to the depot. Uh, and then I just... I need to get this track. I need to get rid of this. This thing is going to cause potential issues in the near future. So I really want to get rid of this crossing. So we need to pick up the passenger cars for these. Uh, I believe I bought two of these, of course. Yep. So we need a total of, let's go with four of the passenger wagons. And capacity is 155 there. This is 27 meters long. Uh, they're also very heavy too. It's, I mean, <laughs> this thing is 35 tons. And this one's 54 tons. And they're the same length. But the 54 ton one, it uh, it holds the same number of passengers. Or no, it has less passengers. Wow. Okay, so that's that pretty much takes care of the choice, I think. So how about we go with 125 passengers? That's probably fine. One, two, three, four. We'll, we'll do four of these. And then um, we need that diesel engine that's on its way in here right now. Might be this one, or it might be the next one. The next one. That one's going to work in the distribution office. So the next one that's coming in, we're going to reassign you a route. We want you, of course, to go over here to load passenger wagons from here only. Uh, and then you're going to take the passenger wagons over to the depot. Uh, go. Go. And that will give us the trains we need to get over here. So the Dnipro Flats construction started once again. We can hopefully get some people over here. Now we need fuel here. Uh, that could be a job for our fuel rats, or it could be a job for my distribution offices, as I do have one with cisterns here. So let's go ahead and tell these guys to keep this fueled. So now when helicopters land here, they'll be able to refuel themselves. Now over on this side... We do want to get this construction office to have a source of fuel. And so, remember, remember, you might remember, we had a problem with this fuel arrangement here before. And uh, we're going to fix that now. We don't have any fuel in here, so we're actually going to have a problem with helicopters having fuel in a second. 
and our fuel rats are just like they're always gone they're always out doing things so our capacity is clearly strained right now um we might, might have to get a proper distribution office with many fuel trucks but we already have six fuel trucks and that is six fuel trucks uh for free as far as the distribution office goes just for in a free office right um if i was to add a distribution office to help with this we a small one can only have five anyway so essentially we have kind of like the halfway point of a medium distribution office for our fuel anyways you might remember this right we were trying to remake this because it wasn't working right so what i want to do here is i want to take the i mean i was going to do above ground it's kind of easier to see but below ground might just be the way to go here now nah, i'm gonna go above ground i don't want to overspend so I should be able to get this. Well, if I go above ground, then I have to, yeah, uh, moving through and around. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I have to go underground just because of the angles of everything. I think I will go underground here. If I go underground, then how is this pipe going to connect? It'd have to be basically it's going to end up being like this and then the pipe underground has to go to here so i'm going to need to basically go around in a really strange angle to get that to connect and it, well i might be able to connect this one as far away i just have to disconnect this pipe so, I mean, we're going to start pulling into this fuel for a while, but maybe we can accelerate this by just prioritization. Because to do it above ground, like I was originally going to do, it might take up too much space. See how it's... Okay, right there it would have let me do it, but we're getting into a situation where it's like, I don't know how I'm going to connect this to everything I want to connect it to building too close yeah I feel like that's the problem right now is everything's too close if I went like this then I can't get the pipe above ground past the helicopters to connect into here so I think it does have to be out, out underground yeah we're gonna put it right here And then what we're going to have to do is I need to connect that to there. No, we won't do it. Why not? Huh? Is it too? Oh, crap. Yeah, that's a problem. It needs space in order to come up. Okay. Well, I mean, it does do this. That is fundamentally, that is the same connection. Right, I mean, I could also go this way with it just to keep it on the same path, but it's the same connection. It's it's coming off of this point to this tank in general, which is what I was looking for. So I guess even though it's a little bit sloppy, I'll do it. And then this one can go around to this one. And then this one will go into that side right there or into this side right here. Sorry. Yeah. So then the, the, the struggle really is just getting uh, this part connected, which I can do pretty easily once this pipe's out of the way. So we'll build this and get all this stuff done first, and then we'll disconnect this pipe and rebuild it in. And I think that would, I think that's going to be helpful. That's going to be okay. Um, from here, we need the road to come in and this is going to be parking lot areas and stuff like that. So I'm going to remove this road, get rid of that point. If I can, Nope, there's just too many cars on that street. Uh, this is going to come straight across like this. Well, at least it was. It may not be anymore. Oh, there's power lines there. Never mind. It's going to go like this. We'll do that anyway. Whatever. Uh, and then we have our parking lots that can be right in this area here for the cars and stuff. So we'll start building those too. Get those to be... Uh, we're looking for big ones here. There's a lot of people that are going to be coming this way. So we want big parking lots. We'll go, like, say here. We need this all to be flat relative to the road. So we're going to need to get 
our height from center. And we're going to need to lift up as much of this as we can to be as flat as possible. And those power lines are going to have to get moved, man. They're on the wrong... At least to get closer to the road. Yeah, I probably cut it from here. From right here. And then move it over from there to be just a little bit closer to the end of the road and then over. Either way, I think I have enough room now for some parking lots. So right here. And I should get one more in here. E, e, very close. So close. That'll do. That does what I want. It's fine. Now the walking path connections are actually not close by here, but there is a road there. And if I can just get the walking paths to just cut over, say like this, I could get them to cut to this side. Yeah. Or we could just take a bridge over this. That could look cool. It would also lead to a lot. Um... Yeah, I think that actually be, would be better. So if I bring this up this way, so like that and like that, we could do a pedestrian crossing, pedestrian bridge, like from right here. Come on now. Too steep of a descent, for real? Do that then. We'll do the, the bridge like this. Oh, you are kidding. Surely you jest. Thank you. And then from there, we can come out like this. And then this goes over, you know, like that, whatever. It, it just connects to where the people who park here can get into this building faster. So, yeah, piece of cake. And then we want this part to be gravel is fine here. They can walk there just fine. So we'll do gravel in these two. We won't need this walking path, uh, but I've been actually told from uh people in comments that these i already knew this but i i forgot about it when i deleted the walking paths right so um these have a building lifespan it's 35 years so they last a long time but they do have a lifespan which means they do have maintenance and so things like this for example wear and tear is going to happen and this is a potential issue because in order to maintain this they need to be able to get in here and they can't currently do that uh, also, somebody said we should totally connect these two things together. They can't happen right now. That that can't happen right now. Um, it's just not going to allow me to do it. But I may have been able to maneuver this in such a way and build it in such a way that that could have been possible. For now, it is what it is. Um, what I really need to do here, though, it's become very clear to me, is I think I need to just get rid of this chemical plant, unfortunately. I think I need to tear this down and potentially try to rebuild it just a little bit further over or not rebuild it at all because I cannot get walking paths into here in order to maintain them. And that is going to be required in order to, you know, maintain them. So if we take a look over here, I guess it's 35 years. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but um, if I look over here, we built this a while ago. It's a 2%. This one's at 52% though. Why? Well, because they can maintain this one. They can get to this one, but they can't get to this one. So they can't maintain it, right? That's a problem. And eventually it will collapse on people. So you have to have these dirt walking paths. They still need them to exist. If nothing else, to allow maintenance to happen. And why aren't you connecting there? Huh? All right, like, like that. That will allow them to maintain this. These bridge segments don't need maintenance. It's just the uh, overpasses and stuff that do. These little stairs and stuff that do. So I probably should look around my Republic and find anywhere where I use these types of things and make sure that they are properly connected. Um, I Going on that note, I'm pretty sure then that that means that the tunnels here have wear and tear. So these also need to be accessible. So I need to go around my entire Republic and make sure that instances where that's being used are, you know, they're still, they're still accessible, right? People can still reach them. Uh, from no matter where they are. So, like, this one is reachable from that road. And, uh... I think that's... 
that's kind of it yeah you just you just have to have it reachable so like this one right here for example we're not going to be able to maintain this not going to happen but i think i can fix this one because we really don't need a lot of storage for hazardous waste we don't need 270 tons since we're not importing it like we are so since there's nothing in here for now i'm going to just delete it get rid of this okay and i'll make a smaller one here instead and that's going to give me room to get the walking path in here so the whole goal today was to expand our construction, right? And uh, we did that with these trucks over here. And we bought a bunch of helicopters. So that was a lot of money. And then we have this new Dniprio Flats. And then what we're going to do with this Dniprio Flats, now that this is done and has fuel and has workers waiting, right? We should now be able to get this to go on all the same jobs that the helicopter construction office group uh will go on all right so all of these guys are in the same group here and so when i assign this a, a job let's say i assign it a job like this then we should get now workers leaving this hopefully uh okay so you need fuel first okay you need fuel first uh so let's go with uh you let's have you load this for a fuel too so when this gets fueled up these guys will spring to life and they'll go and uh, grab all these workers that are potentially here. So I'm seeing like, kind of like a stutter almost on this road here. And frequently we get, we sometimes get backed up three or four cars uh, because they're trying to yield to the, the intersection, but they're really just trying to turn right anyway. So I'm going to give them a better route here so that they don't have to worry about that anymore. So over here, I'm going to take and make a new road it goes out like this. Uh, we're going to use this without this imagery because it just looks better. Yeah, so we're going to... Nah, I probably should use it with the with F4. That way I can do it off this lane. So we're going to come off this lane. We're going to make a new road that kind of comes around like this. And then connects over on this side. And flows that way. And this is going to just create a way to where if cars really need to turn here, they don't need to get into the roundabout. Give them a way to just get on this path and go without having to do that. So I'm hoping that's going to help them a little bit more as we create that road there. Um, and we're going to be implementing that uh, over time a bit more too. So we need to get fuel into uh, this helicopter office. I told this distribution office to handle it, but this only has two or maybe it's this one. Oh, you're the oh that's why you don't you don't actually have the oil trucks okay that's why it hasn't been done i got the wrong one uh, i need to give it to this one there we go i need you to have fuel here yep let's keep it 40 percent full so once these guys provide fuel here uh we should see passengers coming all the way over here to our new helicopter uh passenger platform here it's gonna be great so we have the extra labor from the Dniprio Flats, and uh, hopefully we can get people to work uh, over there as we go. I'm also extending the bridge now. This bridge here, now that this is uh, deconstructed, I'm extending it over top of the roundabout here. Because again, this is supposed to be a way for people who are in this area with their cars to completely bypass all local traffic that will be through going through here and get straight to the highway and go. They don't have to flood this. Because I feel, I feel like we are going to have a lot of cars going from this area and traveling to the highway over here and so and it's possible that they will choose to go this way instead um but this isn't going to be a full highway it's only going to end it's, it's actually going to end right about here and then it just goes into a town here and this ends up just being a gravel road most of the time i mean i may change my mind on that but i, I think that's kind of what i'm what i'm leaning towards here on that on that road um so this is going to be the main highway that takes people out towards you know all the stuff we're going to have going on over here um most of the people who are going to go into this area are going to be riding the train so it's it's they're going to get on the train instead instead of driving for that uh so i'm just mostly just waiting for fuel to arrive here now and i'm trying to find out where the fuel trucks are for that maybe it's this one right here uh is it you you're going to the industrial yard yeah you're going all the way over here so that's that's a really big distance. We don't need to do that anymore. Let's not do that anymore. Yeah, I think we don't do that anymore. Uh, we can have a train handle that now. So we'll say, uh, let's say uh, you no longer have that 
yard here. Passenger right here. Parasna oil fuel storage. This one. Yeah, you don't have that one anymore. So you can be a little bit more focused now. And we can get the trains to, to handle that for me now. So the train would be over here. This train. And uh, this train is now going to load here. After you do that, you're going to take that fuel supply all the way over to here and drop it off, unload. And then once you've unloaded that fuel, anything you have left, you can then bring back with you to this source. Where is it? Right. <laughs> I can't find the damn thing. It's everything is so big now <laughs> right there. Go back here and load again. This time you'll wait to load it again. Okay, and then you will uh, then unload at the customs house, come back, and do the loop all over again. All right. So you're just sitting here with no fuel right now because I've kind of disconnected it, right? So we need to get this done first. And then, uh, gosh, man, I should probably put the regular fuel rats on this. Just that they're tapped out. Damn. I think this is going to help a lot through here. Um, you, you don't see it yet because I haven't really been like watching it. But if you if I was to sit and watch this, it, it definitely has periods of time where it backs up and they're all waiting because um, there's a lot of cars kind of intermittently. They'll come from this direction. Usually when the fuel rats are returning, they'll come from this direction and then they'll have to wait right here. See right here like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're all some of them are going to turn right. Some of them are going straight. Well, none of them are going interesting none of them actually went right at that point huh well either way we're gonna put this in anyway uh and then i could put that in other places too there's probably other intersections and stuff other roundabouts and such where that would be helpful um right here is another one where i was considering doing it later but this isn't busy enough traffic for, for me to worry about that yet so never mind um yeah, none of this stuff is actually busy enough to need it. Um, we don't need a roundabout here, for example. Not yet. We'll have a lot of that stuff happening in this uh, interchange here. So I'm paving this road. This is going to stay. The interchange part of it is going to be the part that, of course, lifts up as a bridge and goes over top and then lands again. And then this will end up merging with that to allow whatever this road here. This road here will end up going straight to this side. And then it will connect here, connect there. There'll be four intersections here, here, and here as it continues this way. So not a roundabout, just actual intersections. However, the interchange part of it will take care of pretty much everybody who wants to go that way or that way, leaving pretty much the only people who are stopping here to be the people who want to go straight at, straight ahead. Um, so yeah, instead of a roundabout there, I will do that. I may change my mind and do a roundabout anyway there, but I don't think it'll be necessary because pretty much nobody should be anyway unless it's local traffic which i guess is you know possible whatever but um pretty much anybody who is turning left or turning right here uh should be doing so uh via the interchanges when it, when they're built anyway so okay the fuel truck just pulled in and uh these helicopters are gonna spring to life off they go Dun, 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 they're all gonna go at the same time which is not the best uh but i mean there's uh, quite a few workers over here and what i could do now is also tell these guys that they work there and only there and that would of course provide a lot more labor for these helicopters as well so there we go um let's see with how they spread out did they spread out at all six in there 22 in here zero in there that's no good but oh see that now if they don't get any they'll just they'll go right back down they'll slip themselves right back down that's pretty good. Yeah, that works. Okay, so they're going to start sending people off to construction sites. And there we go. So I have plenty of workers here to uh, work in this place. And of course, we don't need everyone to work there. So we could tell them to go and work a variety of other places like this bus stop here. And, you know, maybe you work in uh, the radio or the orphanage at the school and hospital and other things. We, we could do that too. Um, I'm going to cancel designations for these two buildings and just let them work wherever they want in the hopes that they choose to come over here because there are helicopters waiting to pick them up. So we now have domestic labor in helicopters, albeit it's going to take a little bit for this to 
start being worked regularly these helicopters have to spread out right they have to they have to not be uh all traveling at the same time all landing there at the same time and that's going to take a little while for that to happen but i think uh pretty soon here that's going to happen pretty well and uh as you can see they can refuel here or they can refuel back at base and so some of them will probably pick up some fuel and stuff while they're picking up people there we go 22 in that 22 in that these are all full helicopters now very good this one's 22 and this one's 11 so almost almost full there we go so that's working out pretty well and as we get more people who live never mind they just decided to all move to here we are full there now up to nearly 18,000 people nobody in their republic has uh nobody in our republic is without a flat now uh we need to start looking also uh, so we've expanded construction with with helicopters and stuff right we've basically uh increased the number of helicopters we have doing construction now by a hundred percent if you include the passenger helicopters but uh 40 if you don't include them and uh the other thing i need to look at now is expanding food production we need to create more food we're gonna start running low on food because again this building only can handle about 20,000 citizens and it needs to be more consistently near that 150 160 workers in order to actually have that uh, capacity so we are going to start running a little bit low on that what I think I'd like to do now because we have you know mechanical components and electrical components were being delivered here in very small quantities just so that we could pick them up here I don't believe we're going to need that anymore so I am going to get rid of the helicopter pad here. We don't need it anymore uh, because it's that resource is now being created over here. Mechanical components are full over here now, uh, which means that we can start banking up the steel for it for later. Uh, but that's that's going to be done here now. And we can get electrical components delivered here instead. And the helicopters can can get it from there. Uh, so with that done and, and helicopters then having access to electrical components on this pad instead, we can go in and get another food factory put in right here and then all of the parking lots i have scheduled to go into this area are going to also serve uh to getting people into this area here to work in our second food factory which can uh then get the problem is, is i would really like it to get off of this but it's all about this road being necessary right like this this road sucks i really don't like it but I want to use this connection, but I'm going to have to use this one. But either way, uh, getting the road in and out of here is just not going to work real well. So ideally what I can do with this food factory, because the connections are here, here, and here, what I'm hoping to be able to do is I can slot it in right in this spot here to where I can hopefully get a factory connection to connect there. And uh, if, if I can get it to there, great. We'll do a tunnel to get out of here. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to... I don't know man fire coverage is going to be almost impossible just because of how that stupid thing works um yeah i'm probably gonna have to do some kind of tunnel or bridge out of this but uh we'll have to, another warehouse right here that can hold more food and then we can have that hooked up and uh increase our food supply that way the other way to do it is to add a food factory over here which was going to happen anyway eventually but i was thinking that this was a nice sort of compromise for the the near term um obviously just getting this full would be great and having to constantly help or constantly pull food in would be great and not exporting food anymore at the border is going to be a pretty good important thing too so we could also try that too like just say you don't export food anymore at the border right we don't do that and so now food will only be domestic that will limit our income so our budget will uh our budget will be reduced there uh but for the short term i think it's probably got to happen these pipes are all done looped into the various different tanks they need to be in so with this thing being basically full it's time now for me to go ahead and kill this pipe and get that out of here make that a high priority for our deconstruction office demolition offices uh and then we need another pipe to go in here hopefully not as squiggly as that uh it'd be nice if i could have done that but i think what's going to happen is this one is going to go around and do that from basically from right behind it so we're gonna have this loop and and connect there like that so i need this connection to go away i guess i could do it from here 
this is actually going to allow me to do it, which is interesting. So I could just do it from here instead. Yeah, you know what? We'll just do it from that one. That's fine. Uh, that way I can get started on constructing it right away. So for parking lots in this area, right? Lots of parking here uh, so that people can walk to uh, the refinery and then hopefully this other food factory. And, uh, you know, I, I think I think probably we'll bias the parking lots to be on this side and then potentially we could just have the other food factory be here too. That wouldn't be out of the question either. So uh, we basically have this storage here. We could tear out this and put in uh, another big storage right here and then just have that delivered, right? And then have another big food factory here, which has a road depot and connection points and everything right next to the highway and off it goes. So that's another way to get food connected uh, as well. And that, that's probably a good idea. Uh, but that also disconnects my crop train in order to do that, right? So I need to be a little bit careful on that. And um, I think as a means of sort of getting this done uh, and, and bypassing that potential issue, we're going to want to not block this. So we need this to come through, but we also need it not to block this. So this train is currently 200 meters long. And you see, if I place this here, that signal, it's, it's going to block that road, right? It's, it's 200 meters long. So it's going to be right about there, right? On that road. So, you know, depending on if I was to place it right on top of it, of course, um, there's really nowhere I can place this. That's going to allow me not to block the road aside from right here. So I would need to move my electrical to be somewhere else. And then I can place the second grain storage here instead you can put the extra food factory here and then this bus stop would be able to access it as well as these parking lots and all the rest of the parking lots maybe that's how we do it instead i it's, this has been a brainstorm right trying to kind of figure out how i'm going to expand food uh because i'm not ready for that side yet um, I, i'm not ready for over here yet with the expansion and construction right now i might be uh ready to build that but um i want to get zarnowski done first and look at this Hey. Donoski's coming together here. Isn't this nice? This is looking good. I'm digging the sidewalks and everything. Yep. Very cool. And these roads are already completed. So um, you can see there is some work being done on the houses. That's all, it's all the helicopters, right? Parking lots are being built. It's all helicopters working on this stuff, man. Uh, so until the roads are complete, I don't want to connect the dirt roads, but these roads are complete. And so we'll have gravel driveways. Everybody's got gravel driveways through here. We just want it to look good. And it helps with the walking speed too. Uh, severely reduced walking speed on dirt roads that way. So we, we don't want to have that either. Looks like you are going to be a little bit of a punk to me, aren't you? You worked before possible that the road was shaped differently before maybe like this yeah okay there we go so anyway we're doing the gravel just to give them that little extra edge on the walking speed probably gonna have to go at an angle on this one too yep like that and then like that and then straight on like that and then like that okay so all these roads gravel driveways there we go uh, and then on this side we're good to go here too so we'll just do that here so i'm gonna take care of this and then uh when we come back for the next one i'm hoping we see maybe enough progress to get people living in zernoski would be cool for the next video i don't know if we can really pull that off but i think that'd be a cool cool milestone to hit for the next video you know really cool uh i think we can pull that off i'm not sure we can but come on back for the next one you can find out thanks for watching i appreciate you bye bye